But if it doesn't return an error, it'll say error. It'll say so if it returns an error. So, um, yeah, so that seems to be good. And we're also going to um, public ID as string. And I'm going to say ID equals data zero, no two string. That way the ID is being pulled from the database so we can do later stuff with it. Um, yeah, so now what we're going to want to do is uh, hmm, we're going to actually code the send message part but we need this in uh, no we don't so we're just going to send the message by updating the uh, the value no big deal so we're going to uh, highlight this and copy it over and start a new connection We can, I figure out we paste, we copied that, <laughs> and then uh, we're just going to update. Oh, equal to update chat. And then we're going to set message from user one equal to txt message to send where ID equals and we're gonna say ID that's why we ended up doing that we're going to create a new command Okay, so we just right there we just executed the command and uh we set that. Good. So now uh we just need to so if it doesn't uh we're actually gonna start the timer here. If the command goes through we're going to enable the timer and start it. And every time the timer clicks, we're going to do work with the background worker. And we have to make sure that we, we don't get any cross thread errors. So me to check for illegal cross thread false. And uh, can change that. And uh, now we're going to set up the background worker to receive the message. So we're pretty much just going to copy all this because I really don't want to code it again except uh, the SQL query is going to be select everything from chat where ID equals and then we're going to uh, say the ID again okay so Now we're going to public two more variables just to um, keep track here. Sent as string, public receive as string. You'll see what those do in a second. And once you uh, send a message, which we do here, we're going to set the sent equal to what we sent. And uh, that'll help us keep track. So now we're going to say Um, 
No, no, I don't know what we're going to say. Let's just do this. Um, so we're going to append the chat actually with um, the chat contents. So we're going to say if data I see now this is where it happens because what I want to do is I actually want to get the last line of uh, the text and I don't know how to select all of a certain line so this is where I go to Google and do some research on how to deal with uh, text boxes and selecting lines and uh, so I'm going to pause the video and come back. Okay, so um, what I did is I actually looked online for a uh, a select line code, and uh, you know I would tell you who created it, but you know I couldn't. I don't know. So hopefully, if you guys find this code, you'll be able to find who created it. But I just did a quick Google search and uh, I now know how to select a line and then from my knowledge I was able to select the last line available and if the last line equaled um, certain things for example if it was already the latest entry for any of the text then you don't get the new one but if it's not the latest entry then we get the new one which we do here and so um, every 10 seconds it will update the text with uh, what we're doing now uh, I just I actually tested this out and it works fine, except for a few things. But it's just because this is built around my SQL, and it's not really the best thing to build the chat. But this video is mainly just to show you that you can form your own code. Code. You don't have to go online searching for every tad bit of code. Uh, the reason I searched online for this was because I had no idea how to do it because I really don't use rich text boxes that much. But now I know that you're able to do this thing, and I'll probably use it later um, and create my own type of thing for it. So yeah, so this video, you can do anything with code, anything you want to, you just got to think about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start a new chat with uh, Rob, let's call him, and uh, press chat. And as you notice here, everything opens up correctly, and uh, the thing is we used a text box, so we need to always have it selected if we want to uh, receive messages. But so, now the first thing it types is null, and that's simply because... Um, that's the default entry we have if you don't enter anything so it's pretty much saying that I said null um, and uh, I think it's going to keep saying that because it's just dumb like that but so I'm going to type a message I'm going to say hey Rob and uh, send that and then it sends it to the MySQL server and then it should update itself and display that message and see as you see here it says hey Rob um, and my username and things. And um, right now we can't get Rob connected seeing that would just be uh, another type of thing. But what you can do is um, make it so you can have a secondary connection. So they uh, connect online and uh, search for anything with user2 where user2 is their username. And if user2 is their username, then you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to, or if user2 is their username, then you want to connect them to the chat and actually be able to make them type too. Except they're going to fill in user2 and uh, message from user2 in the actual table. So, yeah, this is just a little demonstration on how you can make chat with MySQL. What I'm probably going to do is wrap this all in a nice little module, work on it for a little bit, and then uh, create a tutorial about it later for you guys. But, uh, yeah. And I'm really disappointed because this is a 25 minute video and I do not have my partnership. So uh, this will be have, have to be uploaded in parts. But this is just a little journal, I guess you could say, of me creating the chat. So um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some of you because you can actually start building your own chat. And um, now you know that all you need to do is think about the code, uh, maybe make a little diagram to help you formulate the code, as long as it's uh, a little better than mine. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day, guys.
See you later.